In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with supports. What I'm going to do is I'm going to generate the supports in the slicer. I'm going to be using the Prusa slicer. Then we're going to print them out on an Ender 3. And then I'll show you how to remove those supports. So with a geometry like this, there's no way that you can orient it where you won't have bridging. So we'll just pick the orientation that has the least amount of bridging, and that's going to be at the top and the bottom, and so that we'll just have two areas of bridging. So that's our first step. So we're going to bring that into our slicer. Okay, I've imported into my Prusa slicer, and you head over to Print Settings and select Generate Support Material and Auto Generate, and then Slice It. And these will add the supports. Now you can adjust the supports as needed if you want to go into the either the expert mode or the advanced mode. And I did do that and I can show you the settings that I used. Okay, so here are the ones that I've changed. I've changed the top contact Z distance. I changed that to 0.25. Uh, the pattern space into 3. I don't believe I changed this, but it, it appears that it changed. Maybe it did so automatically. And I changed the top interface layers to 4, and then the XY separation to 75%. I believe it was 50 before. So now we'll print this out and then go on to the next step. So the first thing I want to do here is take my nippers and start removing as much material as I can that's easy. And I generally start from the outside and then work my way in. Now the next step is to take the nippers and snip the inside so that I can weaken the structure in the middle. And then um, you have to be real careful here for a screwdriver. So, uh, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to twist. But if you, in here I'm going to pry up on the thick part where it has a lot of strength and gently try and pry it out. And if it doesn't come, then you have to stop and go back and snip the middle out to weaken it. What I'm trying to do is work my way and find a separation and then prying it out. See like that. See that starting to separate there? Alright. Now if I can very gently get a screwdriver in there, I might be able to, without twisting, I learned the hard way you can't twist. See when you do that, you're putting pressure here and you're liable to break that. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I think I'll work around and see if I can weaken it by taking out this center part and then breaking it inside just like you would collapse a building in a demo. And try and, without twisting, try and get the center broken out. This is strong in this direction. Okay, let's see, I can, here. That's the way you get it off without twisting. See, now here, this will probably just, if I pry it inward, it'll probably just pop off. Okay. And you can see right here, that I, I can just go straight down. So that one's almost done. This is going to be a little hard to get this out, but I think I can get my nippers in there. I'll try on this side first. Got to be careful. It's pretty sharp. You should wear gloves, but it's you lose dexterity. Now this has got to be really gentle. I don't want to break that off. Yes, I'm wearing glasses, and you, can, you should wear safety glasses because that stuff flies off and gets in your... A little bit on the other side, right there in that corner. Okay. And that ends pretty good. And I got some more here in the center. I think that can easily be right along this seam. I think we can just cut that. It just pops right out. Okay. 
Now, now for the other one, we're going to repeat the procedure, and I'm going to snip the outside first. Then I'll snip the center part, and then I'll try and break it out and collapse it from the inside. Now notice the angle of the snippers. I'm going to snip it in this direction. I'll try and weaken this center all the way around. I need to trim the outside a little more and weak it and see if I can get a good separation between the support material and my part. And then snip this flush and try and weaken it. Go all the way around. Yeah, that's a pretty good clean break. And I think I need to move a, remove a little more material in here and kind of make this weaker. See if I can get a knife in there. See how it's starting when you weaken it and you can start to see the how it's separating there. Very, very gently so you don't break this. Now I'm not going to twist, just see if I can ease that out very gently. So I'm twisting against the thick part, not, at, not over here. Now I should be able to get my screwdriver in there and gently apply this way. Okay, now it's a good clean break. You gently put it in here and just kind of ease it out. See, I'm not really putting much pressure on that at all. Okay. Now, you might be tempted to do the same thing here, but I have found that if you can go like this and just bring it forward, then you can get it to start peeling. It won't come, and you can gently separate this like that. Now that should come out. And it does. Okay. Alright. You gotta be really careful because this may not look like it, but these are like little needles. And so you should be wearing gloves, but I'm gonna be just gently as I can. What I'm trying to do is trying to just work the blade in there and release it from the side. And then I want to do like I did before and make a breakaway slot. So I want to snip this from the center. And pull straight out. Now, this should come across pretty easily, and it does. Now that it has a place to break free in the center, and you can pop it out, and we should be able to pop this out. So it's pretty good. These hairs, you can take a, a flame and just lightly go over there and burn them right off, and you can also try and scrape them off. Be very gently, you can go like this. If you have a lot of them, it's easier with a flame. So this is pretty clean. We've got um, a really pretty good surface. It needs a little bit of touch up here and there. Some coarse sandpaper works pretty well to take off some of the bigger imperfections and then you can work it down to finer if you desire. So that's how you can do it. You can take even a fairly complex part and work slowly and patiently with the right tools and you can remove those supports fairly easily.